I was that girl who saw the movie Flashdance. Do you remember Flashdance? Many years ago. I saw that movie and I am not lying. The next day I went out and I got a big old perm. I cut my sweatshirts, so I, I started taking dance classes five, six, seven hours a day. And then one day I got a call to go meet Prince. So they called me to go on an audition for him and they were looking for a set of identical twins and they couldn't find any. And there happened to be another girl who looked like me and they hired us for these videos. And then I got hired for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, look who's here. Who's coming, Ben? Mr. Giles. Buffy, are you supposed to be somewhere? No, I have a free. Cool. But three months into getting the show, I became a Christian. So when I finally came into Christ, I started to see after the first year or so going to church, reading the word, God became more real. And I started to learn how to think properly. It started to affect me in certain areas of my life. I so needed freedom. That was always my desire when I was in the world before Christ. I was a chain smoker, addicted to cigarettes, addicted to food, addicted to shopping. I mean, I was an overeater, over shopper. Anything you could do over, I was overdoing it. And as I was praying and saying, God, talk to me about my, my situation with food, my relationship with food. Why, even though I'm getting healing in other areas of my life, am I not getting free in this area? And right away in my spirit, I, I heard him say, food is not the issue. Your feelings are the issue. Mm -hmm. And he started to take me into it. And he showed me that, that it really has nothing to do with food. It was that when feelings and emotions were coming up, I was running to food to comfort me. Mm -hmm. And in, in my heart, I heard the Lord say, you have too many counterfeit comforters. Mm. And that was like an illumination because I'd never heard anyone say that. So I knew it was God because I never thought it and I never heard it. And he said, counterfeit comforters. So I started to pray about it and study it in the word. And he showed me how in the Bible, the Holy Spirit is called the comforter. Yes. And that he, he took me through a process of training me how to learn how to come to him. That mm -hmm. when those feelings came up, when rejection whatever emotion came up, instead of running to the counterfeits, mm -hmm. cigarettes, food, shopping, anything to try to deal with the feelings, mm -hmm. learning how to run to him. Feelings started to come up. That's when, that's when the unction, that's when the Holy Spirit would go, you're at the crossroads. Do you wanna go medicate or do you wanna to come to me for the healing? That's your choice. You can go and get that instant gratification, that instant comfort, or you can think about what that means to start to come, come to me and let me actually Heal you. Because, you know, I prayed prayers when I first came into the Lord. I was reading the Bible and I was excited about it. And I saw these scriptures like Luke 6 that said, you know, you can be planted on a rock and have that, that foundation so the winds will come and the storm will come and you will not be moved. And I was praying prayers like that. And little did I know, in order for that to happen, all these storms have to come hit you. So, you know, I'm praying things like, God, let me not be moved by circumstances. And then like, <laughs> you know, then I'm on the floor dying. So I was in that place where I was on the floor and I literally, I was like, God, what, what, what are you going to do with me? I don't even know who I am. I don't, I, I'm so, uh, I'm just like an empty shell. I had a pile of tissues. I'm just laying out flat. And again, this is how cool God is. When I was young, my favorite show was the bionic woman. I would run in slow motion I would try to jump in slow-mo. Bye, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'd be outside playing. My mom would call me for dinner. Rabia, I'd be like, my bionic ear is catching that sound. Bye, yeah, 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 yeah. I loved it. I loved the bionic woman. I wanted to be here so bad, Jamie Summers. So I'm laying on the floor dying, thanking God. What? What, what, what can you possibly do? All of a sudden, my spirit, we can rebuild her. We have the technology.